All right, Adam with Avalon Auto. We're gonna do a quick one on belt moldings. So I swap them on probably 80% of the GXs I get. Uh, the belt moldings will separate. They'll start to do this. The other side was pretty much hanging off too. Um, there are torque screws on the front door. There's gonna be one here. On the back door, there's gonna be one there. So I think it's like a T15 maybe or 10. I forget what size exactly. These, you know, this thing's 06 with 225 on it. So it needed some persuasion, but basically once you get this screw out, you'll bend this up. This one took two hands and pop it off and just slide it off its spot. And so there's no other bolts or anything. It's just little pressure clips in there. And then while I do this, I always just give it a squirt with like a ceramic detailer spray and clean this while I'm at it. Because it's the only time you'll ever get the grime out of that particular spot. And I use the OEM Prado black belt moldings. They snap in perfectly, they look great. The chrome ones off eBay that are like 100 bucks a set, I don't like at all. They do not fit quite properly. The chrome is fairly soft, and I actually dented one by snapping it into place. So like this one's on the front. Basically get it at an angle, tuck it into that little spot there. And then make sure it's lined up with the back of the door. So you just shove it into place and then start at the front. And it's as easy as that. So that's one. Then I'll put the little screw back in. There's a small, let's see if I can get a good zoom in here. Can't really see. There we go. Oh, too much zoom. So a small point right there, you just want to line up with your screw tip. Same with this one. Once the thing's out, some of these have a little clip right there. I just take a trim tool and pop that out because none of the replacements, OEM or not, that I've gotten have that same clip hole. So just get a trim tool in there, pop that clip off. Sorry about the video quality, one handed without my gimbal. So. Once that set screws out, I just bend these up and they'll pop right off like that. And again, take the time to wipe out that area. And we're gonna snap this new one into place. Now the third belt molding by the rear window. Sorry, I'm gonna have to redo this video with a little better hand. So this one, you'll see the notch for this rear glass. Again, just line everything up. I basically use these glass marks to make sure it's in place right. Make sure it's all the way up to the front and then just start applying a little pressure straight down. And you'll hear each one of these snap into place. And then you'll put your set screw back in for this one that's in the front. For the front door, it's in the back. Now, this third glass is more involved. So this is the belt molding. You see the Prado black belt moldings. To access it, you've got to release tension on the bottom. It's really just pulling it out. And then pull your window molding off and get behind here. You can use a trim tool sheer force with your hands and pop this out of its place. Then you're gonna have a 10 millimeter here and a 10 millimeter right there. I use just a 10, an extension on one and make sure to use a magnet. 
because those bolts, when you take them out, if they fall down into the cavity, you got a lot more shit to take apart to find it. Um, when I do install these third ones, I've had to do these a lot for water leaks and I'll show you why. So that clip, these do come with these already on it. So you don't have to buy these clips separate. They'll go right here. You've got to take the glass out to access that one right there and you just pop those two tens off and literally lift the glass up so you can access that clip i break these getting them out so you just take a trim tool and one two three with some force and pop those up again clean it all and then before reinstalling i just take some clear silicone and circle this foam pad on each of these I've had a number, I've got some videos on it, water leaks coming from these three clip holes. On this side, it'll drain down right on top of the Mark Levinson subwoofer. On that side, it just drains into the cavity, eventually makes it underneath this rear carpet area. You will not notice moisture on top of the carpet because the carpet is rubberized underneath. You'll notice a smell. The longer that sits untreated, you'll get a, a smell that's really hard to get out. You'll end up having to replace all the padding underneath that carpet but this one i'm doing these belt moldings because the old ones were tattered these ones also get tattered the seals actually seemed in good shape but this thing's been in georgia its whole life so it hasn't seen much severe anything but this was the old one for this side where the top was just completely torn off um, the clips i broke getting them out but Anyway, sorry for the video quality, but it's a quick intro on belt moldings. If I had two hands or if I had my tripod, I would just set up and show you how to do this one. But basically take the glass out and then pop them out. Have fun.